holiday season officially kicked off in Hanahan last weekend with the annual Christmas tree lighting and holiday parade. Our Hawks band and JROTC got to show off their skills for the entire city. Hey Hanahan, I'm Macy Ducker. It's Friday, December 13th, Ugly Sweater Day, and welcome back to this week's edition of Hawks Eye View. Here at Hanahan, we're celebrating the holidays with kindness. Here's Paulina showing off some of Hanahan's holiday kindness. Thanks, Macy. Hanahan High is honoring the holiday season by encouraging everyone to be better. That's right, we're having a Hawk holiday next week, and these are the upcoming themes. We have Make Someone Smile Monday, Talk to Someone New Tuesday, Warm Hug Wednesday, Thankful Thursday, and Friday is Holiday High Five. So if you want to make your holidays so much sweeter, make sure you make the most out of next week's Hawk Holiday Week. I'm Paulina Reyes, Hawks Eye View. Thanks, Paulina. And now for you seniors, we have a special announcement. Monday, December 16th is the last day to pay your senior fees. The amount due is $100. This includes a yearbook, so make sure you get your money in on time. See Ms. Samonte and guidance to pay. It's final season at Hanahan, and lucky for you, there is help available. To get help, go to schools.schmoop.com. Click the login button and enter the code WALRUS. From there, you will be directed to Schmoop South Carolina page. Select your school from the alphabetized list and log in or create your Schmoop account. Then you can join a classroom and start studying. Don't forget to sign up. I don't know if you've realized or not, but Hanahan has some very talented artists. Riley Mills spent the week looking for art created right here by Hanahan High students. Here is Riley Mills with Mills Masterpieces. Thanks, Macy. Art, it can do many different things to many different people, but one thing is for sure. Each person can feel a unique emotion when looking at art. Today we're going to be looking at some art produced by Hanahan students. When I'm in my country and we need to learn art, everybody needs to learn art. So when I'm in elementary school, I start to draw. I like to draw when I'm free and I think drawing can let me forget everything. This is just one of many examples of art on our Hanahan walls. Thanks to Annie for her time. Now back to Macy in the studio. Thanks, Riley. Hanahan is definitely full of many masterpieces. From one work of art to another, let's talk about our teachers and staff. The Staffalty of the Month vote is still going on. The trait for the month of December is generosity. So vote for a teacher and staff member that you feel best shows an attitude of generosity. We've made it easy for you to vote too. Just go to our HEV Google Classroom page and you'll find the link to vote for your favorite teacher. Voting ends today. And don't worry, if you haven't joined our Google Classroom page yet, the code to join is H9T5FN. Again, that code is H9T5FN. When living in South Carolina, you never know what kind of weather we're going to have. Here to help us with that is Jimmy, who brings us HEV's newest segment, HEV Weather with Jimmy. Thanks, Macy, and it's December, it's cold, back to you. Thanks, Jimmy. Make sure you are prepared for this month's weather because as Jimmy said, it's gonna be cold. I know it's a tough act to follow, but Kirsten now joins us with this week's Hawks Eye View Sports Update. Hey, Hanahan, I'm Kirsten Bailey. Macy, do you like my ugly sweater? Let's get into some sports. First up, we have Hawk basketball. Let's start off with the girls as they took on Military Magnet Wednesday night. Micaiah McKee with the inbounds. Nice pass to Brooke Voorhees. Later in the game, Yasmin Lefave, the assist to Tyler Henderson. It wasn't enough though. Girls fall 55 to 14. On the boys' side, out on the fast break, Keith Bryant with the hard two. And in the second half, Big Matt Ansel playing big underneath with the bucket. The boys end up on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Military Magnet 64, Hawks 31. That was Hawks Hoops. Now let's hit the mat with our boys wrestling team. On Monday, Hanahan hosted Cross, Wando, and Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. Some individual winners were Josh Shaw, Jackson Daughter, Salome Castile, and Alex Harriet. On Tuesday, the Hawks beat Georgetown 43 to 42 and Philip Simmons 43 to 37. Some individual winners included Jackson Daughter, Gavin Quails, Cooper Smith, 
Ethan Jones, Salone Castile, Josh Shaw, and Alex Harry. That's what happened this past week. Coming up on this week's schedule, tonight, our girls and boys varsity basketball teams take on the Jaguars. Wednesday, they travel to Military Magnet Academy to compete. On Saturday, our varsity wrestling team goes to Cane Bay High School to go against the Cane Bay Cobras. And remember to keep up to date with all your Hawk sports 24-7 at hawkathletics.net. That's it for this week's sports update, Hawks. Now let's get back to Macy in the studio. Thanks, Kirsten. Don't forget to support your Hawk athletes. This week, we took a chance and gave Vance a week off. So let's try something new as we say yo to Yosef. Thanks, Macy. It's my turn on the show. No more Vance. Let's see what you guys know. Here's history with Yosef. Who was the first president of the United States of America? Oh, wait, uh... uh George Washington. George Washington. George Washington. George Washington. Incorrect. George Washington. Incorrect. What do you mean, incorrect? Abraham Lincoln. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. What? He was the 16th president. You're wrong. I'm right. Who's the current United States president? Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, you already know the best. Who was the first female president? There is a female president. There isn't a female president. There is a female president. No, there isn't. It's Michelle Obama. I didn't know this. She's not a president. She was a president. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. she was. Michelle Obama? Correct. <laughs> what? How you feel about that? Where were you? <laughs> I was at home. <laughs> Who took the first step on the moon? Uh, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong took the first step on the moon. Right. Neil Armstrong, he was the first African American. I wanted to that do one. It. Matter of fact, he was black. He was <laughs> Wait, my whole life's a lie. Amelia Hart. Amelia Hart. Amelia E. Hart. Amelia E. Hart. Amelia Hart? It's Amelia Earhart. Amelia Hart was the first person on the moon. What state was she from? If she didn't go on the moon. She did. What state is she from? Uh, she wasn't the first uh, woman on the moon. Alabama. Incorrect. She was actually the first woman to fly. Was she really? No, she was the first woman on the moon. What letter does it start with? A C. That's incorrect. California. Incorrect. Yeah, she's the first woman to fly to the moon. Kansas. Incorrect. That's a K. Oh. There's no other ones that start with C. China. She's, she's Chinese. But she's mixed with a little bit of white. Where, where do y'all get these questions from? The internet. Somewhere you're not going, obviously. In what decade did Martin Luther King marry Rosa Parks? They married the 80s, 1950s. In what decade? 2000. Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks, they didn't even get married. They did. Martin Luther King was alive in 2000? Yeah. He died yesterday. They have two last names. What? I don't know how you not know this, though. Where you been at? Where have I been at? I've been chilling. But he didn't die yesterday. He did. Rest in peace, Martin Luther King. What year did George Washington abolish slavery? He did it. <laughs> Wait, he didn't even abolish slavery. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Abraham Lincoln, no. He abolished slavery? When was slavery abolished? 1954, right? Wait, that was George Washington who did that? No, 1954. I don't think that's how it happened. I think that is how it happened. In what year did George Washington abolish slavery? The Emancipation Proclamation and the Freedom's Bureau. 1913. I got that from Coach Finch. That was Abraham Lincoln. No, with George Washington. 1954. 1954, but if he was the first, how long did this man live? Is he a vampire or something? You're stupid. Obviously not stupider than you. Next week, Hawks Eye View has something big coming up. It's the HEV Annual Christmas Special. Stay tuned next Thursday, December 19th for some holiday fun. You won't want to miss it. Finally, make sure you keep up to date with all your Hawks news by following us. Find us on our YouTube page by searching Hawks Eye View HHS. And I know I said it earlier, but just in case, make sure you check out our Google Classroom page. The classroom code is H9T5FN. One more time, that code is H9T5FN. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Macy Ducker. Have a great weekend, Hanahan.